Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to tell you about advantages and disadvantages of laptop or comparison of laptops to desktop PCs. I hope you guys will like this video because some guys want to buy computer and others want laptop. So today in this video, I'm going to solve this problem. So let's dive in it. My dears, first advantages. Laptop portability is usually the first feature mentioned in any comparison of laptops versus desktop PCs. Physical portability allows a laptop to be used in many places, not only at home and the office, but also during commuting and fights in coffee shops, in lecture halls and libraries, at clients' locations, or in meeting room, etc. Within a home, portability enables laptop users to move their devices from the living room to the dining room to the family room. Portability offers several distinct advantages. Productivity. Using a laptop in places where a desktop PC cannot be used can help employees and students to increase their productivity on work or school tasks such as an office worker reading their work emails during an hour-long commute by train or a student doing their homework at the university, coffee shop during a break, between lectures for example. Immediacy Querying a laptop means having instant access to information including personal and work files. This allows battery collaboration between co-workers or students as a laptop can be flipped open to look at a report, document, spreadsheet or presentation anytime and anywhere. Up to date information. If a person has more than one desktop PC, a problem of synchronization arises. Changes made on one computer are not automatically propagated to the others. There are ways to resolve this problem, including physical transfer of updated files using a USB flash memory stick or CD-ROMs, or using synchronization software over the internet, such as cloud computing. However, transporting a single laptop to both locations avoids the problem entirely as the files exist in a single location and are always up to date. Connectivity In the 2010s, a proliferation of Wi-Fi wireless networks and cellular broadband data services HSDPA, EVDO and others in many urban centers combined with near ubiquitous Wi-Fi support by modern laptops meant that a laptop could now have easy internet and local network connectivity while remaining mobile. Wi-Fi networks and laptop programs are especially widespread at university campuses. Size Laptops are smaller than desktop PCs. This is beneficial when spaces at a premium, for example, in small apartments and student dorms. When not in use, a laptop can be closed and put away in a desk drawer. Low power consumption Laptops are several times more power efficient than desktops. A typical laptop uses 20 to 120 watt compared to 100 to 800 watt for desktops. This could be particularly beneficial for large businesses which run hundreds of personal computers thus multiplying the potential savings and homes where there is a computer running 24-7 such as a home media server, print server, etc. Quite. Laptops are typically much quieter than desktops, due both to the component's quieter slow 2.5-inch hard drives and to less heat production leading to the use of fewer and slower cooling fans. Battery A charged laptop can continue to be used in case of a power outage and is not affected by short power interruptions and blackouts. Battery a charged laptop can continue to be used in case of a power outage and is not affected by short power interruptions and blackouts. A desktop PC needs an uninterruptible power supply to handle short interruptions, blackouts and spikes achieving on battery time of more than 20 to 30 minutes for a desktop PC requires a large and expensive UPS. All in one. Designed to be portable, most 2010-era laptops have all components integrated into the chassis. However, some small laptops may not have an internal CD, CDR, or DVD-R drive, so an external drive needs to be used. For desktops, excluding all in ones this is usually divided into the desktop tower the unit with the CPU, hard drive, power supply, etc., keyboard, mouse, or display screen, and optional peripherals such as speakers. So now disadvantages. 
My dears, while the performance of mainstream desktops and laptops is comparable and the cost of laptops has fallen less rapidly than desktops, laptops remain more expensive than desktop PCs at the same performance level. The upper limits of performance of laptops remain much lower than the highest end desktops, especially workstation class machines with two processors, sockets, and leading edge features usually appear first in desktops and only then, as the underlying technology matures or adapted to laptops. For internet browsing and typical office applications where the computer spends the majority of its time waiting for the next user input, even a relatively low-end laptops such as netbooks can be fast enough for some users. Most higher-end laptops are sufficiently powerful for high-resolution movie playback, some 3D gaming and video editing and encoding. However, laptop processors can be disadvantaged when dealing with a higher-end database, maths, engineering, financial software, virtualization, etc. This is because laptops use the mobile versions of processors to conserve power and these lag behind desktop chips when it comes to performance. Some manufacturers work around this performance problem by using desktop CPUs for laptops the upgradability of laptops is very limited compared to thoroughly standardized desktops. In general, hard drives and memory can be upgraded easily. Optical drives and internal expansion cards may be upgraded if they follow an industry standard. But all other internal components including the motherboard, CPU and graphics aren't always intended to be upgradable. Intel, Asus, Kampal, Quanta, and some other laptop manufacturers have created the common building block standard for laptop parts to address some of the inefficiencies caused by the lack of standards. The reasons for limited upgradability are both technical and economic. There is no industry-wide standard form factor for laptops. Each major laptop manufacturer pursues its own proprietary design and construction with the result that laptops are difficult to upgrade and have high repair costs. Moreover, starting with 2013 models, laptops have become increasingly integrated with the motherboard for most of its components CPU, SDD, RAM, keyboard to reduce size and upgradability prospects. Devices such as sound cards, network adapters, hard and optical drives, and numerous other peripherals are available, but these upgrades usually impair the laptop's portability because they add cables and boxes to the setup and often have to be disconnected and reconnected when the laptop is on the move. Prolonged use of laptops can cause repetitive strain injury because of their small, flat keyboard and trackpad pointing devices. Usage of separate external ergonomic keyboards and pointing devices is recommended to prevent injury when working for long periods of time. They can be connected to a laptop easily by USB, Bluetooth, or via a docking station. Some health standards require ergonomic keyboards at workplaces. A laptop's integrated screen often requires users to lean over for a better view, which can cause neck or spinal injuries. A larger and higher quality external screen can be connected to almost any laptop to alleviate this and to provide additional screen space for more productive work. Another solution is to use a computer stand. A study by State University of New York researchers found that heat generated from laptops can increase the temperature of the lap of male users when balancing the computer on their lap, potentially putting sperm count at risk. The study, which included roughly two dozen men between the ages of 21 and 35, found that the sitting position required to balance a laptop can increase scrotum temperature by as much as 2.1 degrees centigrade. However, further research is needed to determine whether this directly affects male sterility. A later 2010 study of 29 males published in Fertility and Sterility found that men who kept their laptops on their laps experienced scrotal hyperthermia overheating in which their scrotal temperatures increased by up to 2.0 degrees Celsius. The resulting heat increase, which couldn't be offset by a laptop cushion, may increase male infertility. A common practical solution 
to this problem is to place the laptop on a table or desk or to use a book or pillow between the body and the laptop. Another solution is to obtain a cooling unit for the laptop. These are usually USB powered and consist of a hard thin plastic case housing one, two or three cooling fans with the entire assembly designed to sit under the laptop in question, which results in the laptop remaining cool to the touch and greatly reduces laptop heat buildup. Heat generated from using a laptop on the lab can also cause skin discoloration on the thighs known as toasted skin syndrome. Laptops are less durable than desktops, PCs. However, the durability of the laptop depends on the user. If proper maintenance is done, then the laptop can work longer. Because of their portability, laptops are subject to more wear and physical damage than desktops. Components such as screen hinges, latches, power jacks, and power cords deteriorate gradually from ordinary use and may have to be replaced. A liquid spill onto the keyboard, a rather minor mashup with the desktop system given that a basic keyboard costs about US $20 can damage the internals of a laptop and destroy the computer result in a costly repair or entire replacement of laptops. One study found that a laptop is three times more likely to break during the first year of use than a desktop. To maintain a laptop, it's recommended to clean it every three months for dirt, debris, dust, and food particles. Most cleaning kits consist of a lint-free or microfiber cloth for the LCD screen and keyboard, compressed air for getting dust out of the cooling fan, and a cleaning solution. Harsh chemicals such as bleach should not be used to clean a laptop as they can damage it. Laptops rely on extremely compact cooling systems involving a fan and heating sink that can fail from blockage caused by accumulated airborne dust and debris. Most laptops do not have any type of removable dust collection filter over the air intake for these cooling systems resulting in a system that gradually conducts more heat and noise as the years pass. In some cases, the laptop starts to overheat even at idle load levels. This dust is usually stuck inside where the fan and heat sink meet where it can not be removed by casual cleaning and vacuuming. Most of the time, compressed air can dislodge the dust and debris but may not entirely remove it. After the device is turned on, the loose debris is reaccumulated into the cooling system by the fans. Complete disassembly is usually required to clean the laptop entirely. However, preventative maintenance such as regular cleaning of the heat sink via compressed air can prevent dust buildup on the heat sink. Many laptops are difficult to disassemble by the average user and contain components that are sensitive to electrostatic discharge. Battery life is limited because the capacity drops with time eventually requiring replacement after as little as a year. A new battery typically stores enough energy to run the laptop for 3 to 5 hours depending on usage, configuration and power management settings. Yet as it ages, the battery's energy storage will dissipate progressively until it lasts only a few minutes. The battery is often easily replaceable and a higher capacity model may be obtained for longer charging and discharging time. Some laptops, specifically Ultrabooks, do not have the usual removal battery and have to be brought to the service center of their manufacturer or a third-party laptop service center to have their battery replaced. Replacement batteries can also be expensive. Because they are valuable, commonly used portable and and easy to hide in a backpack or other type of travel bag, laptops are often stolen. Every day, over 1,600 laptops go missing from U.S. airports. The cost of stolen businesses are personal data and of the resulting problems, identity, theft, credit card, fraud, breach of privacy can be many times the value of the stolen laptop itself. Consequently, the physical protection of laptops and the safeguarding of data contained on them are both of great importance. Most laptops have a Kensington security slot which can be used to tether them to a desk or other immovable object with a security cable and lock. In addition, modern operating systems and third-party software offer disk encryption functionality 
which renders the data on the laptop's hard drive unreadable without a key or a passphrase. As of 2015, some laptops also have additional security elements added including eye recognition software and fingerprint scanning components. Software such as LoJack for laptops, laptop, cop and gadget track have been engineered to help people locate and recover their stolen laptops in, in the, the event of theft. Setting one's laptop with a password on its firmware protection against going to firmware setup or booting internal HDD or SSD protection against accessing it and loading an operating system on it afterward and every user account of the operating systems are additional security measures that a user should do. Fewer than 5% of lost or stolen laptops are recovered by the companies that own them. However, that number may decrease due to a variety of companies and software solutions specializing in laptop recovery. In the 2010s, the common availability of webcams on laptops raised privacy concerns. In Robbins v. Lower Marion School District, Eastern District of Pennsylvania 2010, school issued laptops loaded with special software enabled staff from two high schools to take secret webcam shots of students at home via their students' laptops. So my dears, this was our video. Now I wanna turn it over to you. Press the like button if you really like the video or you get something new today. Also press subscribe red button and give it a new white color. And tell me about that point which you got new today. Goodbye, stay blessed and bundle of thanks for watching.